Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. Thank you, God, for getting me through the weekend, let alone that waking me up this morning to give me another chance to get closer to you. Do you know how you all out there doing? Do you know it's been something dark over me for the last month? For the last month. And I'm talking about coming strong, coming real strong. It's been coming so strong, it had to manifest in front of me with full force about a week ago. And when it came full force and showed me who it was, because I'd already let people around me, where I work, know that it was dark in the building. They said, oh, it's another, another day in paradise. I said, this is not paradise. I said, this is the devil's playground. And when I took it, I took that same thing to the person who I knew was in charge of bringing this darkness. And I said, I can feel the gloom I can feel I can feel the trickery. I can feel the hatred. I can feel the envy. You know how people try to shut you down because other people like you. People can see the light that God puts inside you. You can see the lightness in me that I carry and introduce Jesus to other people. He hates it. The whole thing is I'm going to invite Jesus everywhere I go so people can see him and not me. More of you, God, less of me, more of you. And when these things was going on, I was praying every night. I would, I would be in deep prayer every night, praying for this guy, not for anything to go wrong with him, but pray for him so God can touch him and wake him up. And uh, it seemed as if the more I prayed, the worse it got. And I said, well, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. I said, because in God's timing, I said, because when God touches and when it illuminates through what God touches, things change dramatically. See, I was trying to, you know, at first I was trying to think of how can I outsmart this guy and all this. God was just like, no, just wait on me. And it's like, be still and know that I am God. So on that note, things have changed dramatically. And when I walked in the gates Friday, I got told in the parking lot that this person was removed. I said, you see, you let God fight your battles. Don't go head up with it. But I did confront it to let it know that I was aware of what it was trying to do. And I just was like, it's terrible because we're supposed to edify and lift each other up. I said, you got to have edification in this building. Don't come and tear people down every day you see them. These people won't work for you good or, or well if you tear them down every day. If you keep pointing out everything they do wrong without congratulating or thanking them for any little thing that they do right, who are you? You're not a motivator. You're tearing people down. That's, that's, that's not God's way. You know, that's your way. Because you've been through things in life and you can't figure them out. So you see other people that's living life decently and you want to destroy it. So I say this morning, I thank God every single day. I take and invite Jesus everywhere I go. And I know this morning we're going to, this is kind of winding out to be long, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. There's no other God like you. I am nothing without you. But anything is possible that you're in my life. You all have a blessed day. Happy Monday and thank you, Jesus. Any weapons formed against me shall not prosper. <laughs>